Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 20. First, the input table. Trade table has four columns namely trade ID, trade timestamp, trade stock, quantity, and price. Now, the problem statements. Write a SQL query to find all couples of trade for same stock that happened in the range of 10 seconds and having price difference by more than 10%. Output results should also list the percentage of price difference between the two trade. Let's go back to the input table again. Here if you see the quantity, the quantity whichever the quantity is positive that means that stock has been bought and whichever quantity is in negative it shows that the stock has been sold so if you see the first row that uh, trade stock called it junction for all has been traded at time 10 hours 1 minute 5 second and it has and the quantity bought is 100 at the price rupees 20 if you see trade 5 the same stock has been again traded at 10 o'clock 10 minute 0 seconds and uh, this time the stock has been sold 100 quantity at the price of 19. So this table gives the overview of transactions of trade has happened for a particular stock. Now what the question says we have to find a couple of trades of for the same stock that means we have to find a pair of stocks that has that has been traded in the range of 10 seconds if you see trade 1 that has happened at 10 o'clock 1 second uh, 1 minute 5 second and if you see trade 2 has happened 10 o'clock 1 minute 6 second so the time difference is less than 10 seconds so this this will make one pair now if you see the trade 1 and trade 3 the timestamp of trade 1 is 10 hours 1 minute and 5 second and timestamp of trade 3 is 10 hours 1 minute and 8 second so time difference of timestamp for the trade 1 and trade 3 is less than 10 seconds so this trade 1 and trade 3 will make another pair so you can see in the row uh, second in the output trade 1 has come uh, for the first trade and the second trade trade 3 has come and the price difference is 50 so we also have to make sure whichever entry is coming as a pair in the output table their price difference should be more than 10 percent and uh, what the third point is that output results should also list the percentage so there should be the percentage of price difference between the two, uh, two trade so this is is the requirement for this uh, scenario based interview question so let's see how we can do this in SQL server in order to solve this problem basically we have to find three things from this trade table first thing is that we have to find pairs of trade the second thing is that we have to find time stamp between the two trades and it should be less than 10 seconds the third requirement is that we have to find percentage of price difference between the two trades and it should be greater than 10%. I have solved this problem by writing CT query. I have started with keyword with and then I have given CTE table name as trade underscore CTE. After that I am selecting trade ID, trade timestamp, price from the trade table. So, in order to derive all the possible combinations of trade, I am doing a inner join or the self inner join between the trade, trade underscore CTE table. You can see over here, I have given from trade underscore CTE as A, inner join, same table trade underscore CTE as B on A dot trade ID less than B dot trade ID. So this join will give all the possible combinations uh, of the trades 
That's why I have selected A dot trade ID as first trade and B dot trade ID as second trade. Now our second requirement is that time stamp between uh, we have to calculate the time stamp between the two trades and it should be less than 10 seconds. So I have implemented this thing in the where clause. I am doing a date difference between the two time stamp that is a dot, a dot trade time stamp comma b dot uh, trade time stamp and it should be less than 10 seconds. Now the third requirement is that the percentage of price difference should be greater than 10 percent. So this require uh, this thing also I have implemented in the where clause itself. I have written and uh, and abs that is absolute function. Uh, I am doing a difference. Uh, I am doing a difference between the two price and I am dividing by the original price that uh, a dot price and I'm multiplying by 100 in order to get the percentage and I'm using greater than equal to 10. So this will give the uh, uh, it, it should it should filter out the records and it will give only those records whose uh, price difference percentage is greater than 10 percent. So in order to display the price difference I have used the same thing ABS of B dot price minus A dot price and I am dividing A dot price into 100. So uh, after that I am using a floor function and this will give the price difference. So you will ask why I have used app ABS function. ABS function is used to give the absolute value. So if you do a app select of ABS of minus 25 it will give 25. So when you do a difference uh, it might be possible that the B, uh, B dot price minus A dot price is negative. So in that case, we have to use ABS function, that absolute function in order to get the absolute value. And finally, I'm using in this price difference, I'm using a floor function. So floor function, it gives the largest integer value less than equal to the number. So if you do a floor of 100.25, it will return 100. So we want the only the integer value, uh, large, largest integer value. So that's why I have used a floor function and this will derive as the price difference. So if I run this full piece of code, you will get the desired result. You can see here first trade and second trade and their price difference, difference is given. So that's all for this video. If you have liked my video, please do like it and do subscribe my channel. Thank you.